The Bobcats are looking for their first six-game win streak in 28 years as they take on the Southeastern Louisiana Lions at Strawberry Stadium. Despite some nice plays by the Texas State defense, the Lions score on their opening drive to take a 7-0 lead. On the ensuing Bobcat drive, junior quarterback Sean Rutherford scrambles for a 10-yard gain to the 31-yard line. And two plays later, Rutherford hands the ball off to Tim Hawkins on the zone read and Hawk slices through the Lions defense for 15 yards to get the Cats close to midfield. Then on third and one, Marcus Curry sprints for a nine-yard pickup to keep the drive alive. Only three of the 14 plays on the drive were passes, but this pass was a big one. On third and five, Rutherford finds a wide open Alvaro Garcia for the first down. And two plays later, Curry finds an opening and gashes the Lions for a second rushing touchdown of the season. And after a drive that lasted over eight minutes, the Bobcats have tied the game at seven apiece. Southeastern again scores to go back in front 14-7, but the Bobcats wouldn't wait too long to respond. After Terrence Franks bursts ahead for 14 yards in the first play of the ensuing drive, that sets up the Bobcats at the 25-yard line. And after the play fake, Rutherford hits Darius Bolden in stride and see you later. 75 yards for Bolden is the longest catch of his career. And a wild first quarter ends with a score tied at 14. Aaron Matthews in the Bobcat defense got his first stop of the game with the Lions' next possession, forcing a three and out. But Texas State, despite getting a nice play from Franks at a 12-yard catch and run, also go three and out, and the Lions eventually score on their next drive to take a 21-14 lead. On the ensuing kickoff, Derek Lopez with a chance to make something happen to special teams and does. A 57-yard return for D'Lo puts the Cats inside of midfield. You're going to hear a lot from Franks in this game. This 14-yard run is just one of many plays. The rusher freshman made it his first trip to Strawberry Stadium, but after a missed field goal on the drive, the score remains 21-14. The Bobcat defense again does this job with the following lines possession, keeping Southeastern from scoring. Texas State with the ball back, and again it's Bolden with a big play and an 18-yard catch down to the Bobcat 41-yard line. Two plays later, it's Franks again, and as if he was shot out of a cannon, Franks explodes for 58 yards until he's caught from behind by Southeastern's Kieron Jones. Franks had over 100 yards in the first half, scoring from four yards out of the very next play to tie the game once again, and we head into the halftime locker rooms from Hammond with your score, Texas State 21, Southeastern Louisiana 21.